Merry Christmas! We're about to go to Christmas Merry Eve Christmas. church service. It's currently 2.22. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing my new sweater to be festive. And my new jeans with a hole in them. And my holy jeans. That's what Papa likes to call them. All right, there's some remnants of chips left on my face, but I'm wearing all my Coriana jewelry. This sweater is from Target. Pants are Hollister. The shoes are also from Target. We're really going for the sweater vibe for Christmas church. My sweater's from Grey Bandit. The jeans are There she is. And my shoes are Target. We were with our extended family earlier and they brought these insane chocolates. Hi vlog, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hope you have a great day and um, many blessings in the new year. Oh, that's so nice, Yes, you're welcome. Hey vlog. <laughs> oh, there's a gift for you, Mom. Hi vlog, it's the famous this Iowa Hawkeye. It's famous Papa. And a Merry Christmas. <laughs> and hope we get a decent quarterback in 2024. <laughs> we're off to church. Contribution to dinner is cranberry sparkling apple cider mocktails. I did this cranberry blend with sparkling apple cider. Nope. Allie stole my 20. Got, three 20 somewhere. I don't have a 20. Have he has two 20s. I have one. I got gypped in our game. But I also put orange juice in there. No, it's yummy. You sure? Yeah, you want one? They're questioning my garnish. What? This is perfect. Here, look. This is perfect. Yeah. You can mix it. You can mix with it. Sparkling apple cider cranberry mocktail. Just, just one little sip. What do you think? What? Very sweet drink. Yes. Thank you for your review. For non, non uh, twenty-one year olds. Oh no! I set the timer. <laughs> I swear. Oh no! Oh, no. We salvaged some bread. <laughs> Papa's still Stop eating the bread. Him, uh, <laughs> what did you do to this poor piece of bread? Papa would never do bread like that. His daughter did it and tried to serve <laughs> it down Papa's throat. Vlogception here. We're both doing vlogs. Go ahead, Katie. Okay, our new tradition is stocking stuffers on Christmas Eve, so we're gonna show you what we got in our stocking. Ready to go. Our stockings are over there, but the first thing I got, Katie also got these, is little face razors. Thank you, Mom, for telling us that our faces are hairy. Second, I'm like, is this a job? I got M&Ms, I got two. One of them was supposed to go to Allie, but she's recently going gluten, or recently going dairy-free, so I got M&Ms. And then next, I got these Amazon earrings to stack. So cute. They're like three different sizes Love. of little hoops. Obsessed. Thank you, Santa Claus. And I got hand warmers for when I go skiing. Adding on to the jewelry, I got um, basic like just gold bands in three different sizes, and then this super pretty cross ring. We also got fuzzy socks. These are a classic. Santa brought us Starbucks gift cards too. Card. Last but not least, the Delta Gamma beanie. And I got lots of Victoria's Secret underwear. We're gonna make our desserts. Allie's making chocolate chip cookies, right? And I'm gonna because make Allie dairy free Christmas. She knows crack. that I'm going at to go gluten and dairy free for my some wow. of my health concerns going on. Yes. So she's being very helpful and very sweet to make. Yeah, I'll show you dairy what we got. free for me. I'm so excited. Here's what we've got going on. This is the mix that Allie's gonna make. This is what I'm attempting to make. I'll put a photo on the screen, but I found these white chocolate chip cookies that are dairy-free at Sprouts. I didn't mean cookies. I just found white chocolate that was dairy-free at Sprouts. Gluten-free pretzel sticks, and then instead of Chex, I know that Chex is gluten-free, but we couldn't find them because they don't have them at Sprouts. We're just using these off-brand ones. I'll leave the recipe down below in case you're still feeling in the holiday spirit and you wanna make it, because I think it's supposed to be really easy. It's only supposed to take like 10 minutes to make. Also, sorry, I haven't really done a proper intro for this video. Today was kind of crazy. We went to hot yoga this morning and then we came back and we were like cleaning the house and getting ready for our extended family to come and we were with family like early afternoon and then we got ready for church so it was kind of a quick morning and it's just not ideal to vlog when there's extended family because I don't want to be shoving a camera in my like aunts and uncles faces. Great news I found Chex and Cheerios. Can we take those back mom? My dad says he will never eat puffins. We're also in our matching Christmas pajamas. And I'll insert the video of Reba opening her gift because it was adorable. Look at that. Yes. Oh, Can you give me a high five? Oh, okay, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Yay. Me. Candy cane socks, Walmart pajamas, and the Major's Champion Company. And moms, they were three bucks from Walmart on Black Friday. Oh, Katie. What? I know, I found the check. Section. It's a Christmas miracle. So we ran out of maple syrup for my cookies. So I'm really hoping my neighbor 
neighbor response. We're hoping that Jen comes through with the maple syrup. Step one is to just combine everything into a big bowl and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it because I don't have the exact measurements of everything. Hey, don't eat it. <laughs> I mean. After eating it. I forgot how good cereal is. I feel like I haven't eaten that much cereal since going to college. I never really ate that much cereal in high school. At one point, Allie did Junior Olympic swimming and she was, was a psycho. Insane. And she worked out so much, like she was doing so much cardio that she just ate carbs all the time. And she so would eat like, like, she would go through one of these. And I had the metabolism of steel in like, when like I was eight. I was in a bottomless Three days. pit. A bottomless pit. Three when I was days. At the ripe age of eight. She was obsessed with Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> Comment below your favorite childhood cereal. I love Lucky Charms. We never really, we're kind of an ingredient household, so I never really had Lucky Charms. So it was always a treat when I would go to my friend's house and eat Lucky Charms. And the marshmallows, I would just pick out the marshmallows. I call these my Polly Pocket shoes because they look like actual doll Polly Pocket shoes. This is a really cute look. Jackpot. Jen, if you're watching, I love you. This is my DIY double boiler situation because I don't have one. I have to boil the water first and then I'm gonna put the chocolate chips and some coconut oil in here. Oh crap, I'm already spilling. Things are going well. It's almost there. fully melted. Moment of truth, I need to get these. It's not burning. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay, now we need to stir it and coat everything in the chocolate. Now we wait. I saw here sorting out the red and green sprinkles and I just gave up. So I was like, why am I doing this? But I poured some of the leftover, like I drizzled on the leftover melted chocolate. And Allie's cookies are in the oven. I put the Christmas crack in the freezer so it can harden and I need to work on a little secret something right now that I've put off till the very last minute. I'll show you. This is exactly what I need. So, bye bye. I can't tell you. I came upstairs because I have to show you what I was working on. My room's also a disaster. It's a train wreck. Which is news to probably no one, but I want to show you what I finished. I printed these out. I really wanted to be creative and fun with my gifts this year, and I love the idea of the gift of an experience as opposed to something physical. So for my mom and Allie for Christmas, I got concert tickets for the three of us to go see Kenny Chesney in July. So I made these little fake tickets for them to open. I also am using the bag that Matt brought for his gift with his gift for my parents. We got each other's parents the same kind of the same thing this year we got them both gift cards to their favorite restaurants so they can go on like a date night in the new year last year i got them a top golf gift card what have i done other than that i just try to be really proactive about listening if and with my own family too, about what they might say they've been wanting throughout the year. Like I was talking to Matt's mom, we had a conversation last year. She used to be a teacher and she was talking about the crafts she would make with her students. And she was talking about how she wanted to make candles. And so I got her this little candle making kit. I'm just proud of my gift giving because sometimes it can be awkward to get your boyfriend's family gifts. Like you don't know if it's going too far because it's your in-laws, but not, it's just like, you don't want to not do enough, but you don't want to overdo it. But I thought the gift card thing was a really cute idea. And if you need to get something last minute, because this is going up on Christmas Day, maybe that could help. Because it's a gift card, but there's some thought behind it. So it can be really meaningful. Hey! <laughs> Allie and I are going to watch our movie. We watched, this is like the most random, how did this even start? We don't know how it started, but we watch Good Luck Charlie, It's Christmas every Christmas, Christmas season. Treats. It's so cheesy. Like if anyone has seen it you're probably gonna be like why do you watch this movie every single year it's but we just have to it's the dumbest movie it's the dumbest it. movie but it, we have to watch we it we started doing it because like we watched it one year and i think we were like obsessed with the disney channel when we were little and, and it then... just has stuck i need to do a little bit of editing i mentioned this in my last video but i'm taking a little break after christmas and uh, i'm gonna be back in the new year it won't be super long just like probably i'm planning to upload on january 4th so it'll just be until then 2024 is so weird to think about because 2023 i feel like i've been anticipating my whole life it was my graduation year from high school like i was always mm. the class of 2023 and it just feels weird that we're past that because i feel like i was waiting for this year where i graduate and go to college for so many years of my life and now it's basically now you're living over in the blessing. it's also that's so true it's also so weird to think about how we were seniors in high school a year ago that's that crazy. just feels like such a long time ago to me now. It's so crazy. Allie was lying on the ground. If I was not taking a break, I'd probably do a video talking about reflecting on this year, but I feel like I reflected a lot on the year in my birthday video because I talked about 19 things I learned and how this year is very transformative. I feel like for both of us too. I think so too. Yeah. I think it was honestly good for Katie and I to, not like, oh, it's good that I left her, but I think it's good It's good that we're in separate places because we've gotten so independent. Not that we were not no, yeah, I know exactly what you're independent saying. before. Yeah. 
Yeah. But we miss each other every day. Literally every day. It makes me sad. I know. But then it makes it that much better when we get to see each other. Yeah. And when we see each other, it's so. like no time has passed. That's the stitch. I'm going to put this out of the tree. But yeah, this year has been wild and it's been my best, like, quote unquote, in business year. Hey! Yeah? Allie, come here! What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What's going on? We're going to do two different broomstick challenges. This is our broomstick. It's kind of pathetic, but we don't have broomstick right now. Ready? Yeah. Is this a prank? No. no. That's okay. the first one. That's it. That's the first one. You just step into it? Yeah, that's it. This challenge is you have to get up without using your hands. A lot of men can't do this? Can't do this. Get up. They can't get up. I did both already. Matt is pretty flexible, so he did it. I did both. I did both already. Yeah, use your hands. Just give You have to use your hands. Your... No, you're using your hands. <laughs> yeah, there. Go, Katie. She's so sleepy. But I was saying before I was coming down here that it's been the best year, growth wise and numbers wise, for everything I've been doing on social media. So we say thank you for the millionth time. The Christmas crack is ready. And this is why it's called Christmas crack because you have to crack it. It's really good, but I use too much coconut oil. It has a little hint of coconut, which I don't want, but it's not bad. What do you rate it? Seven and a half. Okay, it's not good. bad. It's good. That's yeah. good. Allie, come try. Is it still coconutty? No. It's really good, it's just coconutty. What do you rate it? Mom probably really likes it. I would say like seven, because I don't really like it. Okay, I'm fair. I'm a nine. Oh, good. Okay. And I feel like for being gluten and dairy free, it's amazing. If it had no coconut, what would you rate it? Um, nine point five. I don't really even oh, taste wow. the coconut. She's the complaining about the coconut, but she's sitting here eating it. No, the parts with the Honey Nut Cheerios <laughs> don't taste as coconutty. Yeah, it's too, it's too good for me. We're gonna go open gifts. It's 8.30, I'm like so happy with this timing. I feel like 8.30 is perfect, so we all got to sleep, but it's still early enough. It's a little bit later, it was such a fun, cozy, family Christmas morning, and I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas and then end this video because I'm gonna go play pickleball with my family. I'm trying to like be very concise about what I'm saying, so I don't wanna have to edit this clip. I'm just gonna import it, add it to the video, upload it, and then be on my merry way. I wish I had something more festive to wear, but everything's in the wash, so I'm wearing my Jesus Loves You hoodie for Jesus' birthday. Most of the stuff that I wanted this year was ski stuff and snow stuff, because I'm new to the ski stuff and the snow, and there was some stuff I needed that I didn't have that I'd grown out of. First thing is this leather jacket from Allie. I wanted something that I could go out and like go out to dinner, go out with my friends, that I could wear over a top with jeans, and I feel like this was perfect. Because I have this one furry coat that I've worn a couple times, but it's not really the vibe, and I feel like this is, so thank you, Allie. I keep pausing, but I'm really not gonna make any more cuts to this, and I'm just gonna talk straight through next thing are these boots that I wanted I kind of forgot I asked for these so I was super surprised when I opened the box but I wanted something I could walk around in in the snow because I have Uggs but they aren't really cut out for the elements because they're not technically waterproof and I'm not gonna be needing something that I'm like not gonna be in trenches of snow I just needed something like this that would get me through the winter and I feel like these are perfect for snowy days next up is this and these two kind of go together more skiing stuff I also got a neck gaiter to keep my neck warm while I'm skiing I think that's from Amazon I'll link everything that I can't below because most of it is just easy to link because I have it on my I have a list of links that I sent to my mom anyway but these two go together they're both from Montech and I love the color my dad took this lovely photo of me on his Android I'll put it back on though so you can see I'm so excited about this my grandpa got this for me and it's definitely an investment so thank you Papa if you're watching this but I know that it's something I will wear for years it's warm and cozy and it has all the pockets I need so that's it for my Christmas haul I debated whether or not I wanted to do one because I feel like it's a little bit not immature, but I'm like, I'm almost 20, but everyone loves Christmas hauls, and it's like the joy. I said I wasn't going to edit, but here I am. The joy of celebrating our Savior coming into the world as a baby. Despite whatever you might be going through or what you're feeling this holiday season, there's hope in Jesus, and that's the greatest gift of all. I was sweating. I didn't really spend enough time talking about this, but I got the matching beanie for the jacket. Love you guys so much. Merry Christmas. I will see you so soon. Bye.